Hey everyone, this is Lisa Botwan. Welcome to Lisa's chat room. Today we're going to be talking about how I clean cloth and cloth type materials to try to remove formaldehyde and chemicals from them. First thing is I need to disclose if you do what I do, you must do so at your own risk and peril. I've researched things and I do the best I can. This works for me. It might not for you. And also, too, you should do your own research. I'm going to put a link about my allergies in the description so you can go and watch that. But in a nutshell, I suffer from multiple mental conditions and I also suffer from some type of allergy with formaldehyde and preservatives, which causes my complex PTSD to trigger. So my playbook plan is to remove as much formaldehyde as possible. As a matter of fact, I have to remove it completely because even if there's a little bit in my house, I have a reaction, very strong reaction. So I've created a playbook plan. I do go through a lot of this stuff in other videos. Basically, it's in some imported clothing. It's also in different kinds of laundry soaps and you can get exposed by the mail, by the mail person. You can get exposed by the new clothing that you buy. And the problem is, is you buy something new, you put it in your closet and guess what? It's all over the clothes that you have tried to remove it from. This is my personal opinion. It's happened to me. So again, maybe you don't have an issue with this. Maybe you do. I'm just sharing this information because there's a lot of people who seem to have an interest in this and I'm getting some feedback now from these videos. And actually there's been about right around a dozen people that have told me they have this same allergy. So I'm trying to share this for others to help them. There are therapies. The difference between a therapy and a remedy is the therapies can help you with the symptoms. A remedy would completely take the symptoms away. So I'll go on with more videos as I go through my journey. I'll take you with me. Even if it helps one person, it's worth these videos. So what I do to clean clothes is I always consider a clean clothes as contaminated. So in my car, I have a container with a lid. And when I buy something, some type of clothing article, and I go through what that is in other videos, I put it in a separate bag and I tie it as tightly as I can. And I put it in that plastic lid container. And I bring it in here and I actually put it over here. This is my containment area I call it <laughs> and you can see I've got my duster wands over here and whatnot and my vacuum and I will talk about them in other videos originally I had that washer and I just bought this never had a big washer and dryer for several years now I had planned on doing is using one for when I get new clothes and formaldehyde contaminated clothes okay that's what I call it that would be for the contaminated clothes and this would be for the worn clothes which means clothes that don't get it but the problem is if people come into my house i'm going to get it sometimes i get it myself just by going out and visiting people or even sitting down at the doctors and getting a blood draw i can get exposed to these chemicals as well and i know i may sound over the top but this is a very horrible allergy to have because the exposure is everywhere coming at you from different things so the playbook plans I do I make these videos because I show you the things I do to get this out of my house because I cannot sleep or think if it is in my house so we're just going to concentrate on this part I clean the laundry now how do I do that here I have my chemicals now again you do this at your own risk and peril I will do another video and actually talk about these chemicals more what they are what they do in the laundry but basically just a summary here. First of all, I use baking soda. I buy this in the four pound box from either Family Dollar or Walmart. Epsom salt or salt. There's some controversy on which one would be best for softening. One, I guess, is for hard water. You know, there's all this controversy. I'm trying to remove the formaldehyde. I really don't care if my clothes is a little hard. But honestly, I've been using the Epsom salt and it's fine. So I don't know. I will try the salt. I was using this for something else. So I will try that at another time and then I will tell you the comparison. But I have them both on hand and then I buy the distilled vinegar at Walmart for $3 and tax. And I have that in a bottle. Uh, this so I can just fill it really easy. Now here I've got ammonia that I bought at Walmart. It tells you on the directions what to use. And this is for laundry. So go out and research this. And again, use this at your own risk. There's directions on here how to use it. The next is Windex. Okay, this is the, basically the final one. The reason I use these two products is because ammonia, at least from what I've read and how I feel, it removes the formaldehyde or neutralizes it somehow 
quickly. I've been using the glass cleaner for years. I just started using the ammonia and I will say that it is easier to clean the clothes. However, it is very caustic and you have to be very, very careful. So I'm gonna show you really quickly what I do here. When I get something new, I put it over there till I'm ready to wash it. The night before I wash it, I throw it in here. Then I fill the uh, wash machine up and I will put the recommended allowance of ammonia. Then my washer actually has a wash and one rinse and it stops. When I wash it, I will literally get out of the basement because I don't wanna smell it. So what will happen is once it washes, all that water goes into that drain. So I wait until it's done. It rinse out so I don't have that caustic fumes going into my lungs. Again, it's really caustic, so be careful. So the next thing I do is I will take and I will wash it again. This time I will use, if it's large, one cup of the baking soda. I put it in here and I mix that with about one quarter cup of salt or one quarter cup to a half a cup of Epsom salt, something like that. I'm trying different ratios, but you don't need a whole heck of a lot. And I put that in here. I would use one cup for a large load. And then I actually use one cup of the vinegar. Now that's a controversy too, because some people say don't do that. Some people say do, but that's how I do it. So I'll run it through again. Do not ever put the vinegar in your dispenser. Okay, don't ever do that. You put it right onto your clothes. Now, for you people with the high-end efficiency washers, you might have a problem with the baking soda. So what I would suggest is just the baking soda and the salt you would put into like a pickle jar that's cleaned and then just put some water in there and make it into a liquid. Because of the way that it works, it might not get diluted. If anything, put it on the bottom. I would think that would work, okay? You can try this out and see. Otherwise, dilute it in a bottle of water, but do not add any other chemicals, do not add the vinegar, do not, because it will explode, okay? It has a fizzing action. You know, you've seen those kids that make the volcanoes that go zzz, fizzing up, that's what that does. So once I'm done with the wash, then I throw it in here and I take the distilled vinegar, not the ammonia. I take the distilled vinegar and I'll put my stuff in there and I will spritz it like this. That's it, and then I turn it on. I wash and dry the recommended things for the clothes. Now, you have to do this at your own risk. I've looked to see if this would cause problems. Some people say it causes a residue, but once I'm done, I take everything out, and then I take my duster, and I go in and I spritz that on my duster, the glass cleaner, and I clean the drum after every load because I don't want any residue of formaldehyde getting onto the next load. So that's what I do. When I'm finished with that, then I vacuum them. And you may think that's crazy, but that's what I do. Then I put them away and I put them in here. My clothing now is all downstairs. This is a cubby containment. This has got the longer things. And I will talk about this again in another video, but I basically put it in here in tightly sealed containers. So that's about it. I will talk about the other things in another video, but I want to keep this as short as possible. Please watch all my other videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. You know the deal. Click the notification, and please stay safe and stay healthy until I see you again next time in Lisa's chat room. By the way, leave a comment if you want. Okay, bye.